How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm doing another cover-up, but the concept is gonna be insane. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go! I can't believe it! It's cloudy! Excited to head to my consultation. My client wants a cover-up and it's a star of a horror sleeve. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's easy. Oh, uh, what is that? What is <laughs> Look at the tattoo, bro. That I was going, what's up? <laughs> After talking to my client, we decided to cover up the eagle with the homie Jason. The reason why is because I'm going to be using the bottom of that jacket to cover it up. The bottom will have so much dark tones that I will use the top of the axe and the mask to create contrast and prevent it from looking way too dark at the end to the point where it's no longer legible. It was so easy to come up with a design, it was not stressful, I didn't have to customize anything. This is going to be an amazing day with nothing but good vibes. We need a song that matches that energy. Look at, look at this. I'm excited. I mean, I haven't done this concept in, in probably three, four years maybe. I'm gonna be making adjustments as I tattoo because I do feel like there's some areas here that need some separation, right? Like this corner, like this, this whole thing needs to be separated with contrast and highlights. The mask looks a little too plain for me, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna be adding texture to it because, yeah, and it's and it's more, and it's more. It's missing. It's missing something. The main thing here is that. It's gonna be so sick, my dude. <sighs> Midway of me doing the stencil, I realized that I hated the mask. So I had to find a different mask with more contrast, more texture, and to replace the one that he had. My name is Ivan Rodriguez, you know, coming from Colorado Springs. I was gonna cover up this little eagle I had. Uh, you know, one of my friends was getting started tattooing, so I thought we could do it. But I've always wanted a horror sleeve just because I've always been into the horror movies. We're gonna go uh, meet with Kevin. He's gonna be all ready for you. And then uh, by the end of today, you'll have this taken care of. Yeah, be gone. How low do you want me to go on this tattoo? As low as you want. As long as I want? Uh -huh. I don't know if you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know if you know, but I'm a damn good ass shaver. Look at my skills when, I, when it comes down to shaving. Methodical. Look at that. Look at that technique. The finesse. Bro, you are white. Yeah, I'm white as hell, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just my arms a bit darker from being out in the sun as a kid, but no. <laughs> You see this? Somos like güeritos. <laughs> That's güerito. Yeah, my mom's super white too. Nobody, yeah? believe, nobody believes she's Mexican sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it, but it looks a little nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Wet hair. It looks like I when you pick up like hair from the faucet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a shower, you gotta pull your girl's yeah, hair you gotta out. Pull out. You gotta pull out your yeah. wife's hair out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Scrubbing your hair, you're like, wait, why's the water in my ankles? <laughs> Sabara, sabara, sabara. Bigger. Me gusta. Una rosura. Una delicadeza. The challenge was brought up. Esa nena cuando baila me vuelve loco bailando el dembo. De aquí, vaya, de allá, vaya a mover. Not even gonna lie, I think it's a, it's a good stance. Si quieres que te vaya. Tú eres mi ángel y yo soy tu ángel. Alright, I'm gonna have you stand up. Let's check out this stencil. Easy. Yeah, that's it right there. 
That is crazy. You gotta be careful with this one because I got nerve damage in my knee from when I was younger. So twitches every now and then. Oh, here it is. Oh, <laughs> Probably the twitch is gonna help me out with some texture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using a 9 curve mag with a voltage of a 5.0 so it can allow me to pack in the colors faster and more consistent. It would also help me to navigate through my tones a lot more smooth. When I started doing the pocket, I switched to my 14 round liner because I needed that area to look wrinkly and I used my solid black and my medium gray. And like always, I'm using my scribble technique. Drop a comment if you have used the scribble technique before. Have you stretch? Spicy man. I drank like three water bottles back to back. Oh, yeah. So I've been holding on to go into the bathroom for the last 30 minutes. I'm doing this for you. Struggle always. I'm suffering, bro. I'm over yeah. here like my bladder is like ready to explode. Has you gotten to any part that you felt like, oh this is this is this is a little spicy. Yeah, right here back from like where the Achilles is and tendon on top, that's where it really got it got pretty spicy. Yeah, but it's worth it though. Man. Can't handle yet. And now like two bucks. Ah, la verga, no! <laughs> Dude, leave it. Everybody leave it. He landed though. He oh. landed. Shit. <laughs> this glove's gonna be looking fire than a motherfucker. The what? This glove. Oh, you just started it. I know, and I already know it's gonna look dope as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just see the general shape of it. <laughs> <laughs> love it though, love the coffee. Hell oh yeah, bro. When I started doing the glove, I started mapping out the shape of the glove because I forgot to stencil that area. But I was not worried because I actually freehand or improvise in every tattoo I do, so I'm pretty much used to this. I am mapping everything out with my solid black. Once I'm comfortable with seeing the shape of the glove, I'm gonna commit and start applying my tones with my medium grays, my light grays, and my solid black.
still amazing, man. Finished scene, just seeing half of it done is crazy, all the detail and the texture. Excited and nervous for day number two? Ah, excited and nervous, both. Yeah. You know, just because yesterday was kind of rough, but it's, we'll get through it. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Who did that? You know, so, someone, <laughs> someone kind of talented. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? I told him I was passing down the mirror of the hotel, and I was like, back up, like, yeah. and I had to go back, like, damn. <laughs> yeah, I feel like his hand was about to pop out. <laughs> <laughs> Second day, what I'm going to be doing is pretty much doing the middle, starting here on the bottom of this tattoo, but I'm going to make sure that I, that I, uh, that I wipe, I'm trying to figure out the word. I gotta make sure that I wipe <clears throat> either this way to the sides or dab. The reason why it is because if I'm if I wipe down, I'm gonna get some ink on the bottom part of this tattoo, and if I do that, it's gonna hurt him whenever I try cleaning the bottom part of it. So the number one thing is avoiding putting ink on the bottom part to avoid irritation. I'm using the scribble technique to make the axe look deteriorated and old. This area is key because there's so much black already that I need to separate the dark part of the axe from the jacket. It is very important that when you're using this technique to be mindful about your contrast and your highlights because if you're not aware of where everything is, there might be a chance where everything's gonna look flat. I am so comfortable using my 14 mile liner that I can create texture so easy and efficient and it also helps my client with the pain.
I was debating if I should use texture or soft tones for the face, but I did notice that I had used too much texture throughout, so I made the mask semi-soft so it can stand out from everything else. Thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate you. <laughs> I said that thing so fast. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. Uh, I had so much fun with this project. I didn't have to customize too much. I just had to show up, tattoo, and I enjoyed every minute of it. My client had such an amazing energy, positive vibes. I mean, I we were talking the whole entire time and I just, I just had such a great time uh, tattooing this piece. So with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.